Well, we've come to Penniston, which is an old market town. The original uh, cattle market was uh, redeveloped into the supermarket, but part of the agreement was they built this amazing barn. It's called a crook barn, uh, and it was built by a company from Totnes in Devon. It is absolutely chipping it down with rain outside, but it's a semi-open space. It's made from all natural materials, as you can see. And it celebrates part of Penniston's heritage, as I say, of a great market town. Uh, it's mentioned in the Doomsday Book as 1086, as a waste, because the town had actually been sacked by uh, a northern baron and burnt to the ground. But then a Lord Penny Stun, who they believe originally came from Totnes, maybe that's the link with this, came and uh, this was part of his land and it rapidly gained in popularity after that. It's also famous as a railway town and village. Um, the Manchester to Sheffield line from Woodhead used to cross through here and so did the line from Huddersfield used to join in. The line from Huddersfield still comes here, but the long gone Woodhead Pass is now sadly a cycle route, and the three mile long tunnels at Woodhead are closed up and are simply used for um, services like the electricity, the telephone, and the gas to pipe their stuff through. But we'll go and have a look at what this village has got to offer. Well, this is the amazing. I'm going to stand out in the rain for a little bit. St John's Church at Penniston. It's a lovely old church, got plenty of fine old features. I would be showing you a little bit more, but everything's getting wet. So we're going to stand in the entrance and just have a look around. The village itself looks quite lively. It's got plenty of little independent shops. They're all buffs going for a walk. Um, it's got a few pubs, but with the weather as it is at the moment, actually it seems to have stopped a little bit. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing is just finding a pub to go and sit in. Is this in the bike? There's a bike. Oh yeah. Probably one of the original bikes from the Tour de France up in the tree. When it was uh, coming through the area. But this church is home to art at the altar at Christmas. Um, it's one of the first Christmas fairs and when I used to make soap I used to come here um, and they lay all the church out with uh, all handmade goods. So it's really, really nice, well worth a visit. Yeah, St John's Church at Penniston on the Barnsley border with uh, South Yorkshire. Sunday morning, just about. Yeah, we've come to the Penniston Tap. Penniston Tap. Got a good bit of uh, cats 
scale. Uh, I've gone for a smooth pop operator, and Helen's gone for a bread and butter. A vocation. Yeah, a vocation from Hebden Bridge. The dog's enjoying it. She's just sat in the sunshine, doing what she does, being the most inconvenient. But got some good beers on tap, some on keg. Got a good selection of beers in the fridge and on the shelf, so I might have a look at them later. One's caught my eye already. Yeah, seems a nice place. <laughs> That's unfortunate timing. Well, we had a lovely morning at Peniston. It was wet. It was very wet. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to that. We could both be in shot. Um, we sat most of the time in the uh, Peniston tap. Tap. I mean, it's not that hard to remember, is it? Uh, it Peniston might be. Tap. Penis Town tap. Don't, don't but yeah, we spoke to a couple of uh, we spoke to a couple of home brewers in there, we and did. they were part of the. Peniston Home Brew Club. Who meet in the tap. Who how meet. Nice is that? You know, how good can the beer be if home brewers are meeting? And actually, yes, all three of us have got beards. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> she didn't have a beard because she don't brew beer. But yeah, everybody who brewed beer in that pub or in that tap room had got a beard. Beer and beards. What can you say? And craft beer. Yeah. That's why mine is called Crafty Beard because it sounds like craft beer and it's got a beard in it as well but yeah it was good with some nice beers but then a bit of the in crowd sort of turned up they were uh, very noisy who were very noisy and i can't tolerate people's noise anymore and they were golfing folk now everybody has a hobby but golf yeah no it's, it's, it's not for me <laughs> is it for you not for me. it's not for me not unless it's crazy and you get a goldfish at the end but yeah, we're going to go to the George and get pie and peas because it's about time we ate something slightly more substantial than an egg sandwich for breakfast. Yeah. But we've got some nice beer. Uh, got a couple of takeouts. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got a Belgium Le Monus and a Dutch pastry stout. So we'll probably be sampling them when we get back. They'll be all good. Yeah, so just off to the George, get some pie and peas and we'll be on our way. Uh, I have a roasted vegetable pie and some mushy peas and gravy on and the gravy. side. Mine is a chicken fowl, so that's basically a chicken curry with gravy and peas. I'm going. I love that they put the look, like little initials on the top. Yeah, maybe. He's so cute. <laughs> right, so. Yorkshire pie and peas from Denby Dale, the pie village. Or well, up. Upper Denby. This is close enough. Near, near enough. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Pie. Beautiful. Pastry. Really, really tasty. Peas. Strangely, lovely. Gravy. Okay. My chicken fowl was very tasty. The sharpness of the mint sauce really set off the curry flavour of the meat. The pastry was good. The, the mushy peas were excellent. The gravy was good, but I am a fan of thick, lumpy gravy. If your gravy rolls off your plate when you tilt it sideways, it's too thin. That is my only concern. But everything else, it was beautiful. spot on, really lovely. Georgian, lovely food. I think they it's only, just the George. George, but Not they only, an inn. yeah. But all they do is pies and peas. Pie, peas, and gravy. But and it was ten. Ten, ten pies. Ten pies, and it was all good. Mm.